Cool and I am a second year medical student in the United States. Come along with me for this week of a brand new year of shenanigans. So guys, I've been being called a third year all morning, but I refuse to call myself a third year. I am a second, honestly, I'm, just, I'm a first year. Honestly, I'm, I'm just a girl. Ugh, so much has changed and evolved since I last spoke to you guys. This is so wild. I'm here with Rocco. We are in a new city. We escaped Augusta and we are now in Savannah, Georgia. We're so happy to be here. Today is my first day of orientation of clerkships. I cannot believe that this is life right now. I've been at the hospital all morning. It's super surreal and super exciting, but I am still studying for step. I have not taken step yet. I have it scheduled for this Friday. So I'll be going to orientation in the morning and studying my butt off in the afternoon. So yeah, oh my gosh, hi, I miss you guys. Let's see what today has in store. Let's see. Let's see what this year has in store. Hey guys, I'm back home. I'm about to hop in the shower. Then I'm gonna head over to Emily's because we've been talking about mac and cheese all day long and she said she's gonna make some and that we can eat it together. So, so excited to get my mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is gonna be ready in a few minutes. So I'm about to put some dishes in the dishwasher and then I'm gonna head out. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, January 9th. Special day for me personally. I got ready and stuff. I tried doing it super quick this morning to cut down on my morning time because yesterday I got up super early and was still running late. It still took me like an hour to get myself ready, get Rocco ready. I guess that sounds kind of normal, but I'm a little disappointed, I don't know. I think I'm setting too high of expectations for myself. Anyway, I'm about to drive over to the hospital and eat breakfast and study there before orientation starts. Oh, and side note, it's super like cloudy, rainy, gloomy, but it's also like really warm, so I'm happy about the weather today. Hey guys, the weather's really bad here. I just got home and the power's out and stuff. Also, I'm so sorry, I'm the worst. I think I haven't vlogged in so long that I just, I forgot to do it today. After I left breakfast, I was like, oh my God, I forgot. And then after I left orientation, I was like, oh my God, I forgot again. My bad, but um, don't worry. We're about to study more for step, so. We have time to kick it. Rocco's here. We're just, um, I think I'm gonna light some candles and put some comfy clothes on and wait for the power to turn back on. Hey guys, so I just picked up myself some Mexican food and I'm gonna watch TV and take a little study break and I'm gonna um, get back to it when I'm done. So yeah, treat yourself. Good morning, you guys. It is January 10th. It's a Wednesday. I want to make like a funny joke about like on Wednesdays, we whatever, but it wasn't quick enough. It's 8 a.m. or just past 8 a.m. and I, I'm all dressed. I'm all ready. I um, walked the little nude. He's taking a little nappy here. 
I'm probably gonna put on my shoes and head, I'm drinking coffee and I'm going to head over to campus for breakfast when I'm getting closer to done with this coffee. It's not gloomy or rainy or windy today, but it is cold. So it's like, you can't have it all here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to today. Yesterday night, I was having a little bit of scaries about step one, but then I just took a deep breath and reminded myself that, you know, I got this, I'll see you guys at school. I'm gonna, seriously, I'm literally gonna do my best. I'm going to, I will remember to vlog today. I will. I'm speaking it into existence. Hey guys, so I just got home from the hospital and I'm about to take my little noodly nudes on a walk. Seems nicer out, the sun's out, see if it gets a little warmer, so um, should be a nice little walk. And then I'm gonna go study, take my free 120. Ugh, I'm so scared. And you know what, I'm not scared. I'm gonna be confident, I'm gonna believe in myself because I can do it. I took my free 120 and I'm back home. I just took Rocco on a little walko. And I'm about to review my test. It's a little past eight and I don't want to stay up too late. So I'm gonna do it quickly. Yeah, I passed it. So I'm feeling um, valid. I'm like, okay, I got this. I can take it and pass. I cannot believe after this sleep, there's one more sleep before I take step, but I know it'll be okay. No matter what, it'll be okay. So yeah, let's review free 120. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. Oh my God, one more day until step. It's Thursday morning. It's 8 a.m. I just got done walking a little noodly nude. He's not complaining because his dinner's right there. And he's like, I'm about to run upstairs, grab my pad of Gucci, put some sneakers on, and head over to the hospital for breakfast. Okay, let's go. Guys, so I'm back from the hospital, back from orientation now. It's about 2.15-ish. I'm at the dog park. Step is tomorrow. I keep thinking about it. I'm trying not to get the scaries. I think it's a little bit out of my control. I just gotta keep in the faith. Believe that I did everything I could and that I'm ready. My plan right now is to finish reviewing 120. Pray, go to sleep, wake up, pray some more, and know that I did everything I could. I'm gonna stop talking about it now because it's kind of freaking me out. It's nighttime. <laughs> it's 8.40 p.m. I'm about to eat some fried rice in bed. I just came back from Emily's place. She made me a care package, a step one care package, which is so, so sweet, so thoughtful. It's the last sleep before step. I feel strangely calm. Talking about it makes me a bit nervous, like right now, but otherwise I feel strangely calm and secure and safe and like it will be okay like that will pass and it's gonna be okay so i'm grateful for this feeling but yeah i'm gonna just rest up right now i'm not sure if i'm gonna talk to you guys before because i think i'm just gonna try to like use all of my energy tomorrow into this test the next time you see me might be me crying in the car afterwards good night love you and i'll talk to you after i take step <laughs> I'm back from taking step. I survived. So happy. I'm back with this little nude. Oh my god, I cannot believe it's over. I'm so, so, so happy it's over. And um, I don't know what to say about it. It was extremely long. The people at the testing center were very nice. There was a lot of ebbs and flows in the feelings. Like sometimes I was like, oh, this is easy. A lot of the time I was like, oh my god, this is so hard. I'm going to try my best not to overthink, even though... That was really really hard towards the end i just started feeling like super nauseous and like hot and then it ended and when i got up to leave i was like i literally feel like i can't even walk like my i felt like 
you know, little baby Bambi learning how to walk again. And I got in the car, I called my entire family, really no one could talk. <laughs> then I listened to Ariana Grande's new song that came out today, which I feel like is a good omen from the universe that like, it's gonna work out. Win. You were friends. Happy birthday. Hey. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> Know it was a video. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Hey, guys. So I'm back home from celebrating a classmate of mine. Happy birthday, Dylan. I had so much fun tonight. Oh, <laughs> it's Friday night. It's like almost 10 p.m. and we're about to go to bed. So I wanted to wrap up this vlog and say thank you guys for coming through this very interesting week of my life, getting ready for step and also getting ready for clerkships. I'm going through little phases right now of freaking out, thinking I failed and being sure that I pass. I think that's normal. I'm really excited for next week and I'm excited to see you guys there. So with that, 